So hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, location-based storytelling, noise and local wiki. And this, has, this is a project that's been running for a year and a half. But uh, as a developer and programmer, I'm mostly talking about uh, from a uh, developer point of view. So the major thing I'll be talking about is how we adapt uh, local wiki and OSM tools for our work. Uh, my name is Hongming Wu. I've been using OSM since 2012. Uh, I'm involved in GovZero.tw and OpenStreetMap.tw. I would like to take some time to explain that uh, the, that organization, that name is G0V.tw instead of GOV, which is uh, intend to uh, replace the government and rebuild it from ground zero. So that's why we call it GovZero.tw. And all my talks are hosted on GitHub. So if you want my slides, you can check there. Uh, there will be four parts in this talk, and I will try to go through them as quickly and clearly as possible. And, and first is a little bit about our project, LowWiki. It's hosted on lowwiki.org. It's a crowdsourcing platform for disaster-related knowledge. And we we are approaching the disaster reduction work in a crowdsourcing angle because uh, it is a way to collect local knowledge and also uh, perhaps a little bit more importantly for some of us it's a way to frame and it's a framework for the government to join the local work as one of the contributors so the government is like ordinary local people it's just a contributor and it's a platform for the local government for the government and local people to learn from each other So this is a typical page on LowWiki. It's a wiki page, and this is a page about the local community, basically where people live. And there are some description of the place, and there are some map around this place, including uh, where, where are the shelters and resource centers when disaster happens. And this map is provided by the local government. <clears throat> and there are also some, oh, there are also some photos in the local community about uh, potentially high-risk area. And these photos are provided by local community. And there are some histories about uh, past disasters in this area. So the content on this website, LowWiki, is co-edited by NCPR and the local community. NCPR stands for uh, National Science and Technology Center for Disaster Reduction. It's basically a government agency in charge of disaster reduction. So it's kind of like, uh, up to now, I the representative of the central government on the LowWiki platform, and they are co-editing this information with the local uh, inhabitants. Uh, and in order to achieve this result with a relatively small team, we have to adapt several open source tools for our work. And in following, I will show two things that we've done to local wiki code base and OSM task manager code base. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, oh, of course, we leverage all open source and uh, OSN and community to build a very good data set on that. So, local wiki is a wiki uh, platform. It's hosted on localwiki.org and its code is open source. We use the code to, uh, for our purpose, and the local wiki is designed with the idea of a grassroots effort to collect, uh, share, and open local knowledge in mind which means it is a, like an encyclopedia of local knowledge. So instead of like uh, Wikipedia, it's focusing on uh, location-based knowledge and it's uh, managed by local people and without uh, some of the more formal editing rules as Wikipedia has. So this is uh, uh, the local wiki website. And local wiki has a concept of a region, which is basically a sub-wiki. So you can select a region on the Earth to be uh, the area of interest of your sub-wiki and proceed, in, proceed to add pages under the region to uh, describe the location in this region that you're interested in. And local wiki has uh, several features, regions, uh, like, fe feature, uh, sorry, like regions, pages, tags, maps, and templates. I have described about regions and pages are just ordinary wiki pages about a location. So I'll proceed to talk about how we use tags, maps, and templates for our work. 
um, tab. Uh, we start by identifying five core, five core facilities in disaster reduction work. Uh, something about like community and uh, apartment complex, basically where people live, and shelter, basically where you can go for protection when disaster happens, and resource center, social facility, and gas water stations. These are uh, places you can seek for help. So. Uh, uh, other than these five default tags that we use throughout local wiki, uh, users, any users can use any tag when they are inadequate as well. So they can tag, uh, uh, tag something that is of interest to their local community. So this way we can uh, use a built-in feature of local wiki to show uh, integrated maps for these tags. So this is an example. Uh, this is a tag view of shelter on local wiki. So, um, um, oops. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, So on the left hand side is a list of pages that is categorized under shelter, and on the right hand side there's a built-in map view <coughs> of the location of these shelters. These are uh, the built-in feature of local wiki, and we get the map view for free. And <coughs> For more that map features, we have enhanced the import from OSM feature of local wiki, and we have added uh, some overlayers of government information about disaster on these maps. So local wiki itself has a feature to import uh, ge geometry from OSM map. For example, this is again a local community page, uh, a page about a local uh, shelter, I believe. And on the right hand side, there's a map. The, map, the polygon on the map is not drawn by uh, wiki editors. Okay. It's not drawn by wiki editors. They are imported uh, automatically, automatically from OSM so that editors don't have to draw them again. And we have enhanced this, this feature to import some more attributes, like tags, and also we will notify users to edit uh, OpenStreetMap map if this feature doesn't exist already. And this is uh, the, the bigger ordinary map view of features. We have overlaid uh, some government information on it. This is uh, a layer about uh, the, the flooding information, the high risk of flooding information as a WMS layer on top of it so that local communities can uh, refer to this map easily. <coughs> and this is, I believe, it's uh, much more hard to explain uh, uh, instability of the ground, <laughs> like likely to fall. Uh, uh, buildings in those areas are likely to fall down when earthquake happens. So, <clears throat> so then we have enhanced templates feature in local wiki. Uh, we have provided five uh, default templates for the five default tabs, and these templates are all tables where users can fill in information. Uh, and this information building can then be exported by local wiki in a structural way, uh, like in format of CSV and TXC and XML. So uh, this way, um, uh, uh, the data structure of these tables can also be changed by the user. So for example, again, uh, again this page, on the left hand side there's a table. That table is uh, generated from our templates, and there are attributes for this location, just like uh, the use of tag system in OSM. And this, this information in table, table can, be can be exported to a CSV file or a KML file, so you can use it in a GIS software. And therefore, uh, ordinary wiki pages contain tax based information, and they can be structuralized into a, a more usable data, machine readable data by, use, by providing better tools to users, just like uh, the use of tag system in OS, in OS3 map. So this is uh, basically what we have done for uh, local wiki. We have identified four, five core facilities, and local wiki is flexible enough for us to build a cross-sourcing process around these five facility, five types of core facilities so that we can extract uh, structural data from local knowledge. Uh, I'll talk about, proceed to talk about Task Manager, uh, which is uh, some of us might be familiar with, is the Hot OSM Task Manager. We need a Task Manager to solve a problem is that to boot, bootstrap a platform like LowWiki, we need a lot of existing contents for the user to adapt to use it. 
And the government open data has a lot of extreme content. So the work, obvious work, would be to import those data into local wiki platform. But we don't import very often because, personally, uh, uh, because uh, the following reason. Uh, the community discussion and review before an import is a lot of work. And import itself, as, as it's for me, is technically very stressful. And you have to check a lot of details. And so that you, it's easy to lose progress. And then, once you import the data, to keep up the data set with government published data is really hard work. So for example, this is uh, the set of defibrillators in Taiwan. We have imported this data set in 2014, I believe. And there were like uh, 3,000 defibrillators in Taiwan. But now, uh, the, the Ministry of Health have updated the data set. There are uh, like 8,195 records uh, in their official data. And to keep up with update rate is very hard. So that's why we're pretty lack, lacking in, this, uh, in updating this information on our set. So we want to use Task Manager for uh, collaborative data import. I will move on a little bit faster. This is task manager project. So the basic idea is we add a concept of data set in task manager. Any user can uh, the, the creator of the project can update the data upload the data set to, to any task manager project. It will then the, the service will then proceed to divide the task the data set into uh, a smaller pieces of data for each task. And so when you're working on tasks, you, can, you only need to focus on a small piece of data set that has been split out. And these are uh, very much like how we use task manager now. But when the task manager is in charge of uh, managing the data set, something can be done automatically. For example, when a task has no new data in it, you don't have to uh, do anything at all. So it's automatically validated. And when you are updating the data set, it will, the task will only be invalidated when there are new data, actually new data coming in. So you don't have to redo all the import work you have done before. Uh, so I'll give a very quick example on this. This is uh, the, the data set of drinking water in Taipei upload, uh, overload laid on, on the project. And when you edit it in, uh, in ID Manager and ID Editor, it will sh usually show your boundary of the task. We add the data set into the boundary so that you can see the data points directly in ID Editor. And if you're choosing a JavaScript editor, you can also see the attributes in the data set. So you can do all the import work in the same interface. <coughs> you, can, you can see the pro progress of the project. And the result is uh, a clearly defined goals for collaboration and uh, saves work and safer and visualize your uh, Progress. Ooh, so some future ideas. Uh, we want to import more, uh, automatically import more government data into Task Manager and into OSM. We want to build a data pipeline uh, where, oh, sorry, uh, what we have now is we can import OSM data to local wiki. We want to use the Task Manager as a means to manage. Uh, local wiki exports and back to OSM data, thereby closing the data loop. And we also like to build some issue reporting systems around these. So uh, finally, two slides. These are uh, some of the structuralized uh, OSM nodes we've been using in other projects. There will be uh, key value pairs in the nodes. And Using these, we can build a, actually build a regression tracking system around these data, so that editors can can see what are the new issues being raised. And we would like to build a similar features for our local wiki project. Thank you all.